Hello everyone and welcome to this... Uh, how do I even describe it? So apparently somebody made a mod for me for this uh, visual novel game called Doki Doki Literature Club. Today is... well today is actually November 6th, my birthday, and someone just had been really kind to make a mod for this, like dedicated to me and... I haven't played it for myself yet and I thought that it would be interesting to just like react to it and share it with you guys who are interested in just reacting it with me <laughs> and see how I react to it. So yeah, um, as for those of you who are wondering, I actually played the original game, fantastic game, Yuri Best Scale, just no contest. <laughs> oh I see, okay, so there's Yuri. Hold on, let me just confirm it's recording or not. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I hope you guys don't laugh on my <laughs> personating skills or such. Alright, so this Yuri. Ah, Maruf, there you are. Hi, Yuri. Are you, uh, ready to share poems? Well, I would be. But I was hoping we could try something else today. Something else? Yes! <laughs> We've been sharing poems for some time and I found... and... sorry. <clears throat> We've been sharing poems for some time and I found quite a bit of enjoyment in it. Though, this activity has seemed like something more attuned to my tastes and not yours. I was hoping we could try something more to your liking, as my way of repaying you, in a sense. Something like... Dot 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 Like Well Like playing Super Smash Bros Ultimate What? <laughs> Fuck yeah <laughs> Yuri and I began playing some sick ass rounds of Ultimate She chose to play as Lucina Because I guess she thinks Lucina looks kinda like her Oh yeah by the way um, the person who made this mod, I'm not sure if I should make it public for the others or not, but whatever. Um, this is actually canon that, uh, or uh, there's like a post on this, oh, sorry, there's a post on Team Salvado's Twitter where it is like a, a, just a for fun's headcanon post where it says that Yuri actually means Mars in Melee. So yeah, if, if that's intentional, super good on you. I really, I really love that. Okay. I choose Kirby, because Sakura showed that Kirby is the only character capable of surviving when everyone else dies to glowing tentacle hentai? Okay, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm not Kirby main, but I mean, I get to play as Kirby and looking at his skills after the World of Light trailer, okay, makes complete sense to me. As a competitive Smash player, I obviously win every round. And I do so by inhaling Yuri into my mouth and then walking off the stage with her. Of course, Kirby side. You, you have to Kirby side. Uh, I mean, even though it's not competitively viable, but it's really good if you have a stock lead. But anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty much a pro, guys. But now, Yuri chooses someone else. I break into a cold sweat. She had chosen none other than Piranha Plant. Oh no. How is she able to- oh wait a second, oh, no, no, never mind, I'm just dumb. Piranha Plant is known in the competitive community as the most broken character in Smash history. No, fighting game history. Oh, so we have more- we have a more broken character than Melee Fox, uh, Me Brawl Meta Knight, and Smash 4 Bayo combined? Okay, I'm digging this. Piranha Plant is capable of doing things once thought- once thought impossible by gamers, scientists, and philosophers alike. While Chuck Norris can divide by zero, Prana Plant can square root by zero and then solve equations without PEM. <laughs> okay. I'm already beaten. The match begins and my heart sinks as I see Yuri's Prana Plant emerge from its pipe on the side of Final Destination opposite me. Or opposite to me. The evil presence which is the the evil presence which is this plant opens his strangely fangy mouth and lets loose a terrible, terrible laugh. He raises his leaf up to his head 
and with his leaf, uh, sorry, he raises his leaf up to his head, and with his leaf grabs the, and with his leaf grabs the front of his face. In a mere moment, this creature pulls off its face to reveal beneath it none other than Waluigi. There you go, guys. Waluigi in the game. He just prana plant. He just disguises a prana plant in the game. Wee. <laughs> Oh, I, I love how you, I love how <laughs> I love how they use just the <laughs> poor PNG slash JPEG image. I choose not to I choose not to attack un during the battle, as there is no hope of damaging the incredible masculine form that is Waluigi. Instead, I resort to rolling around forever. Uh, if only rolling was still good in Ultimate, but yeah, I understand. <laughs> but then I remember something. It is something so shocking. It is, it is something so shocking yet obvious that I find myself exclaiming it out loud. I forgot that you can't roll forever an ultimate. Oh, there you go. Not really good. Really good there. <laughs> oh, the music stopped. Something's gonna happen. While Luigi had stopped trying to attack me, he just looked through the screen at me as soon as I had said that. He has a look of utter bafflement in his eyes. Really. You forgot about that? Some pro you are. Go back to Smash 4, Nooblet. Ha. Huh. Goodbye, folks. I am wasting I am wasting my time here. Waluigi prompts Waluigi promptly jumps up the stage so hard so hard that all his stock goes away. Oh no, why are you just asking Waluigi? Dot 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 You beat me. You beat me as Mr. Piranha, Waluigi Plant. Uh, I, I can't. Sorry, <clears throat> I can't believe it. Uh, well, I am a pro Smash player after all. Somehow, you doesn't seem to be enthu enthusiastically admiring my skill like I thought she would. She stares almost blankly at me, still in shock. It's like she can't process how, process how to react to this or how to react to me. Well, uh, Yuri, I'm sorry. I should have gone at least somewhere eas somewhat easier on you. I mean, I know you were excited to get your chance with Waluigi to finally. No, Maruf, I. Dot dot dot. I enjoyed it. I wanted something. Uh, sorry, I wanted nothing more than to see your skill in this game, just as I enjoy seeing your skill in expressing yourself through poetry. In a way. Playing this game is your poetry, poetry, and I was thrilled by the way you express yourself through it. Y you were? Yes. I just, I'm very fond of seeing your creativi creativity at play. You come across as such a fascinating person to, you come across such a fascinating person to me. You possess so much talent, and to be honest, I want to, I want, I want to, wit I want, be witness, I want to be a witness to it, or I want to witness it. Okay. I'm sorry for being so transparent, but I'm tired of denying the truth. It's okay, Yuri. I like hearing this from you. I didn't know I meant quite this much to you. You aren't repulsed by this? You accept this from me? Of course, Yuri. In fact, I feel the same way toward you. You have so much talent yourself, and your poems are amazing to me. Hell, even your smash skills are, as a beginner, beginner are amazing to me. Not everyone can figure out the Prana plant is top tier right away. I'm relieved. Then shall we continue expressing ourselves to one another? How so? Um, by continuing to s s by continuing to smash <laughs> or smash. Sorry for the air rape. <laughs> or yeah, sorry for the air rape. Continuing to smash? Sure. I guess I want to go easy on you. Good. I want you to give me your whole self. But, um, I meant smashing in a different way. Let's go. I meant with a breed of sensual sensuality. Sorry. I meant with a breed of sensuality in bold, such as I'm used to in writing poetry. Wait. You don't mean. Yes, Maruf. Please. I want you to smash me.
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yui lowers her hands to the rim of her jacket and in a swift motion tucks the jacket over her head. She does the same with her undershirt revealing a purple bra <laughs> as her only clothing atop her smooth bare skin. Oh, I wish there was a spice for that. She reaches her hands behind her back and she begins maneuvering her fingers to unclip her bra. <laughs> she carries her bra straps in front of her and slowly she begins sliding the purple pads of her bra down her breasts. Slowly, slowly, the bra slides. It's about to be up completely, revealing her naked. And then a bunch of ogres show up. Oh no, is this night trap? They're here. Huh? Oh no, is this... <sighs> um... No... <laughs> oh no... I just forgot... <sighs> Fuck you... <laughs> anyway... Yuri clips her bra back on an alarm before she raises her hands in front of her to assume fighting position. Yuri, what is this? The ogres have shown up! This is, sorry. This is exactly what we thought those Martin family bloodsuckers were planning. How predictable of them. And ogre leaps toward me, but Yuri jumps in front of me and sends the ogre flying with a well-placed roundhouse kick to the stomach. Oh damn. You then press a button on a device on her wrist. A trapdoor opens beneath where the ogre had landed, dropping it into the floor below. I don't get it, Yuri. What is happening? <laughs> they don't get it. They, they don't get it either, and that's just priceless. This is a trap for them, Maruf. A trap designed to make the ogres go, well, nighty night. Some may go as some may go so far as to call this a night trap. But I'm. Pss you're witnessing the results of a plan meticulously de detailed by the genius of SCATS, or SCAT's very own leader, Dan Salvato. This is what he was planning all along! Oh wait, it is this Project Libertina? <laughs> you are correct, Agent Yuri. I'm just assuming a random <laughs> accent for expression. Oh no! Oh no! Yu's expression changes to shock as one of the ogres suddenly speak in a deafening baritone. Oh, baritone. I know the voice. It can't be. Oh, but it is. The ogre removes its mask, revealing the sultry face of Dan Salwater beneath. <laughs> I was an ogre the whole time. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, unfortunately I don't remember you know, how Dan Salwater, like, how he speaks or how to impersonate or just do his impressions so I'll just stick to a slightly different version of my voice. I was an ogre I was an ogre the whole time. It can't You see, Agent Yuri, my plan is even more detailed than you had thought. Thought while you had thought this was our night trap, it was in fact your night trap. A case suddenly falls from the ceiling trapping Yuri within it. <laughs> Maru, you calls to me with a, the desperate gaze. This will be my end. Please, please play me the song we were last listening to. Wait, you mean the Final Destination song? <laughs> Even I haven't heard it, but I really want to hear it. Unless it's the same team in Ultimate Wind. Um, Life Flight. Yes, that. In my final moments, it will remember. It will. In my final moments, it will let me remember the good times we had. Alright, Yuri. I will. I take out my phone and I open my music I open my music app. I scroll down until I reach final destination theme and click on it or tap it. The low rumble of Sakurai blessed music <laughs> begins emanating from my phone speaker just as majestically as always. But wait. This isn't the right song. Maruf, no! What have you done? I have no idea. 
The room begins shaking. Oh no. The smug look on Dan Salvador's face disappears. He begins backing out of the room with the other ogres following suit. Maruf, that's not the right Final Destination theme. That's the lead Final Destination theme from the next Smash game. What the heck? What? The room still shakes. I have trouble seeing what's around me as random colors seem to flash before my eyes and objects seem to flash in and out of existence. The existence of this leaked song is, ca is causing Doki Doki Literature Club to shut down. What? But? But how does that work? That doesn't even make sense. Trust me, it just doesn't make sense. Somehow. Before I know it, everything goes black. Except... Dot dot dot. Except... Yuri is here. Huh? It seems we were unaffected by the shutdown. It's probably because we were eating our vegetables. Okay. Well, I'm glad. That means I get to spend time with you still. Yes, of course. Maruf, would you like me to remove my bra now? <laughs> um, yes. I would like that. Oof, oof. Oh, the smile. He reaches her hands behind her back again and moves her bra for a second time. She begins sliding the purple pads down her breasts. <laughs> slowly, slowly, the pads slide down until her naked nipples are revealed. <laughs> and they're purple. <laughs> what? This, this is some Rule 34 cat. Uh, rule, 30, rule 34 territory we're entering. She has purple nipples. How do you like them? How are they purple? Well, you see, I also have naturally purple eyes and hair. And I think it's a genetic disorder. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? And so, I, Yuri, and her purple nipples live happily ever after. The end. Happy day of birth, Maru. Uh, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're fucking welcome. <laughs> oh man. So, <clears throat> my score? Fucking 10 out of 10, man. Best game, best mod, best game of all time. Just here, here, here's my wallet. Just I'm, I'm trying at I'm trying at the screen. Just have it, man. But anyway, in all seriousness, this this was really this this was really entertaining, really good, and honestly, this one might be like my favorite birthday gift I've ever gotten from someone, let alone from someone just randomly making a mod of of the game dedicated to me. It's it's such it's honestly such a pleasure, it's such an honor to just ah oh man, GG.